누구예요? BTS예요. 방탄소년단이에요. 누구예요? 누구예요? Hello everyone. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Yoon Lab Korean class. Today, we are gonna learn how to ask and answer who the person is. For this, we need just one word, who. 누구, 누구. First, this is the simplest version. 누구예요? 아미예요. This is additional information. If someone asks you, are you army? How would you answer? 암이에요? 네, 암이에요. Excellent. 누구예요? 공유예요. Have you ever seen any film he appeared? Coffee Prince, Busan Heng, Train to Busan, and 도깨비, Goblin. Okay, let's make a situation. When someone is looking at your picture and asks who the lady is or who this guy is, can you say, it's me? 누구예요? 저예요. 저 is a humble expression used to raise the listener. So we use it when the listener is older than me. On the contrary, when the listener is my friend or younger than me, I can use 나 as a casual speech. And adding 야 instead of honorific ending 예요. You can talk with your friends looking at the pictures. 누구야? 나야. Second, it's an extended version using a specific subject when asking. I have a quick question. How do you say who is he literally in Korean? It can be 그는 누구예요? But it sounds like a written form. 누구예요 itself is enough as you learned. 누구예요 can be used regardless of the subject, he, she, they, and even indicator pronouns this and that because of the characteristic of Korean. When speaking, we almost don't use the personal pronouns he, she, they. But if you feel this expression 누구예요? somehow doesn't make you feel comfortable, you can make it by adding a specific subject, not a pronoun. 이 사람 누구예요? Who is this person? You can make 이 사람 this person by attaching a noun to 이 그저 this, that, and that of there. Let's practice. 이 아기 누구예요? 아기 is a baby. 그 아이 누구예요? 아이 is a kid. 저 학생 누구예요? 학생 is a student. 이 여자 누구예요? 이 남자 누구예요? 여자 is women and 남자 is man. It's perfect. You can use these sentences. But sometimes, depending on the situation, you'd better say 이 사람, this person. Rather than distinguishing between men and women, Korean has developed a gender-neutral expression. 이 사람 누구예요? In the same context, you can ask 이 할아버지 누구예요? 이 할머니 누구예요? 할아버지 is grandfather, 할머니 is grandmother. 할아버지, 할머니 also refers to an old people as a third person. Anyway, here is an honorific, gender-neutral expression. You can say 이 분, using honorific expression 분 instead of 할아버지, 할머니. Could you repeat after me? 이분 누구예요? Third, it's an extended version using possessive my when answering. 누구예요? 제 친구예요. She is my friend. 저 is I 
and J is mine. Just add one long stick. Shall we practice? J 선생님, my teacher. J 동생, my younger sibling. 누구예요? J 동생이에요. I have a tip for you. Koreans use J when we want to talk about ownership, such as my store. But we usually use 우리 to mean our when talking about relationships. However, beyond this general rule, even when talking about possession, we tend to use 우리. And also, we can use 제 when talking about relationship. Amazing! But 우리 is better and natural for the relationship. Look at the left one first. When talking about ownership, 제 차, 제 커피. When talking about relationship, 우리 언니, 우리 엄마. 누구예요? 우리 오빠예요. 오빠 has two meanings. One is a biological old brother from a girl's perspective, and the other is a boyfriend. In this way, family names are sometimes used for other people depending on the situation. I have another tip. 우리 is one of the characteristics of Korean. There is a proverb that says, 콩 한쪽도 나누어 먹는다. You must share even a bean. It means we share everything. So if you use 제 a lot, you look a little selfish. I think a culture of sharing influenced the language. 우리 sounds very sweet and friendly. However, this culture has created a very strange language habit. You will be shocked. Listen to me carefully. 누구예요? 우리 남편이에요. Oh my gosh. Literally translated, it means our husband. You have to share even your husband. <laughs> Don't worry. He is absolutely your husband. 누구예요? 우리 남편이에요. 누구예요? V예요. 누구예요? RM이에요. Good job. So, did you enjoy this video? Practice by yourself. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. 다음 시간에 만나요. 안녕히 계세요.